Sometimes you may be asked to figure out what the diameter or radius length is of a given circle when the circumference is provided. In this case, they want you to figure out what is the diameter length of a circle with a circumference of 47.1 inches. To figure out what the length of the diameter is, we can start by writing the formula to find the circumference of a circle, which we know is c is equal to pi times diameter. Using this equation, we can solve for the value of d, or the diameter. First, we start by taking the value 47.1 and substituting it with the letter c in our equation. Because c stands for the circumference, and we know what the circumference is, we simply plug that in for c into our equation. And we know the value of pi is 3.14, so next we are going to substitute 3.14 in for the symbol of pi in our equation. And that just leaves us with the variable d. Now what we are going to do is isolate the d variable so we can figure out what it is equal to. Notice that we have 3.14 times d on the right hand side of our equation. So to isolate the variable d, we do the opposite of multiplying d by 3.14, which is to divide by 3.14. So we divide 3.14 by itself so it cancels, and we also do it on the other side of our equal sign so we can balance our equation. Because 3.14 cancels out on the right hand side of our equation, that leaves us with d all alone on the right hand side, and on the left side we have 47.1 divided by 3.14. After we take 47.1 and divide it by 3.14, that will tell us what the value of the diameter is. So I'm going to take 47.1 and divide it by 3.14. Remember that you are not allowed to have a decimal inside your divisor. You have to turn that into a whole number. And you do this by simply moving the decimal all the way to the end of that number. So we have to jump over two place values to move that decimal all the way to the right. You must do to the inside what you did to the outside of your division problem. So on the inside, we are going to move this decimal two places to the right as well. And after moving it an equal number of place values, you should move it directly above in the problem. 314 can be divided into 471 one time. 1 times 314 is 314. Next, we subtract 314 from 471, which gives us a difference of 157 but we still have a place value not accounted for, so we take that zero and drop it down, and now we have 1,570. Dividing 314 into 1570, that can fit into 1570 five times. Five times 314 is exactly 1,570, leaving us with no remainder. So we have figured out that the diameter of this given circle is equal to 15 inches. Now let's do an example when you are asked to find the unknown radius of a given circle. This time we are going to use the equation circumference is equal to 2 times pi times the radius. Because we know that 2 radii equal 1 diameter, we use this formula instead of c equals pi times diameter. Next, we plug in all the values that we know into our equation. It is given in the problem that the circumference is 25.12 meters, so we substitute the c, or the circumference, with 25.12. We just bring the 2 down in our equation. Next, we substitute pi with 3.14. Next, we're going to simplify our equation a little bit by multiplying 2 by 3.14. And that would give us 25.12 is equal to 6.28 times the radius. The next thing we have to do is isolate the r so we can figure out what the value of the radius is. We have to figure out what would we multiply 6.28 by in order to get a value of 25.12. Whatever that value is, is the distance of the radius. Because 6.28 and r are being multiplied, we do the opposite operation, which is to divide. So we divide 6.28 by itself so they cancel out, and we must do the same thing on the other side of our equal sign so we can balance our equation.
Next, we are going to take 25.12 and divide it by 6.28. And remember, the divisor has to be a whole number, so we move the decimal all the way to the right-hand side of that number to get 628. And to keep the problem proportional, we also move the decimal on the inside of our problem to place values to the right as well, and then move that decimal directly above. 628 can be divided into 2,512 exactly four times, leaving us with no remainder. So we would say the radius of this circle is exactly four meters.